Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ji, today we are going to solve this example by following the center line method. And last time, if you if you saw my previous video, I told you that we are going to solve this in our next video. So I'm now going to create a new new document here, and I'm going to import the file which I corrected because it was not having the uh, markings from center to center, which I have now corrected, and we are going to use that image. So this is the image here now and you can see there are four rooms and this is a nine inch wall this is a nine inch wall the thicker walls are nine inch walls and the thinner walls are 4.5 inch walls so this is a 4.5 inch wall complete this is a 4.5 and this is a 4.5 inch wall now what we have to do is we have to calculate the total center line now the center line should be calculated for nine inch walls separately and 4.5 inch walls separately First of all, we are, what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the center line for the 9 inch walls and after that we are going to calculate the center line for the 4.5 inch walls. So let's proceed. If we see here, I have marked here, uh, these are the different colors and we are going to use the same colors so that you can understand more clearly. So first of all, let's say we use this 20 feet and this length from this point to this point I'm going to draw a rectangle on that for more clarity Gee, this is 20 feet first and you can see in the solution here center line of 9 inch wall is equal to 20 feet ye pari dimension aagi. after that let us say this side 10 plus 5 so it will be 15 inches uh, 15 feet let me color that as well So you know that these overlapping portions at the corners we don't apply corrections why we don't apply if i have explained that in the previous video tutorial junction correction why and how to apply so you can go and see that if you don't know so this is the 15 feet 20 feet plus 15 with any other 9 inch walls this is a 9 inch wall and this is a 9 inch wall and this is a 9 inch wall so i'm going to copy this again from this point to the center line of this 4.5 inch wall okay and again now for this wall So this makes the total center line for 9 inch walls and now if we add 20 feet plus 15 feet plus this is 10 feet plus this is 10 feet plus this is 5 feet. So 20 plus 15 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 is equal to 60 feet. Now this is the uncorrected length and we are going to apply the junction corrections as well. Now let us first see the center line for 4.5 inch walls and how did we get this 43 feet. The same procedure is going to be followed here. You can see these are the 4.5 inch walls and now I'm just going to copy that. Choose a different color. I'm going to place it there on the 4.5 inch walls.
so this completes the total center line for 4.5 inch walls and now let us add them this is the again 20 feet plus this is 8 feet plus this is 10 feet and this is 5 feet so 20 feet 10 plus 8 plus 5 we get 43 feet so this is the uncorrected length and now we are going to apply the junction corrections for that we have to first see how many times we are going to get the case 1 and case 1 was 9 inch wall meeting a 9 inch wall if you have seen the previous videos in that I have shown the cases these are the cases so 9 inch wall is meeting a 9 inch wall that is case 1 so we are going to write here n1 so this is first case and anywhere else a 9 inch wall is meeting a 9 inch wall no we are not having any such case okay so what we have to do is first we have added the length of 9 inch walls now we have to subtract the portions which we have taken two times so this is a portion which we took two times this is a T junction you can see the overlapping portion clearly so one, once we are going to subtract that this is the original length or the corrected length we are going to take so okay from the length of 9 inch walls what else we require to be subtracted this is the length of 9 inch wall and we have taken that up to this point we also need to subtract it from this portion as well so this is the complete length we have taken this is the complete length we have taken so we have to subtract that as well se bhi humne isko minus karna hai. so two places we have to subtract the length of 9 inch walls okay so now let us see the solution so this is one circle yellow color and these are two blue color circles here if we see the solution this is the 60 feet length which we just calculated and now we have to subtract half of the 9 inch walls of case 1 and half of this case 2 a 9 inch wall is meeting a 4.5 inch wall and how many times it is coming it is coming two times so when you subtract that you get the answer of 59 feet 3 inches so this is one time half of 9 inch wall for this correction for this correction one time and for two times this correction one from here and one from here uh, now it makes the correct length of 9 inch wall so it is 59 feet 3 inches you can see the difference here not much difference but still uh, there is uh, this is accurate as compared to this one now let us perform the same uh, procedure for the correction of 4.5 inch walls and how many times we are going to see the case 4 one is here one is here two times and this is I have to show you from here so one you have to subtract from this and two times you have to subtract this one from here and one from here there is no other overlapping portion available except the corners this makes the complete solution and total corrected length of 4.5 inch wall now 43 feet minus half of 9 inch which is this one half of 9 inch one time and two times half of 4.5 inches from one from here and one from here so two is written here minus half of 4.5 inch which gives you 42 feet 3 inches so this is the correct uh, center lines of 9 inch wall and 4.5 inch wall if you find any difficulty you can comment thank you keep watching Allah Hafiz